Welcome back, everybody. It's time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. Uh, Katie and Mary got to play last week. Super jealous, but Dave yes. and I are back today and ready to shatter the competition. And that's because today's theme is ceramics. We don't want to smash any of these antiques. Oh. But no, you don't want to smash any of these things. We're going to learn a little bit about glazes and bodies and such. Did you vote? I voted. I was up very early, so I'm a little like this. So sort of like your sugar high. I'm a little we're, like, you know. I think we're, we're both, because David couldn't vote at 3 o'clock in the morning, so I think the, the plan <laughs> is to vote after work for me. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it was, very, it was very busy here, very early, like 6.30 out near the church, which is my polling place. <laughs> so a lot of people. <laughs> Um, so we're going to start with our first item. By uh, This is from Cynthia. I'm so curious. I want to see this. It's a Starbucks store replica sent in. Oh. This is so interesting. Yeah. It's the Starbucks haunted house from 2002. It's mixed media. It's 12 inch. I'm sorry. It's um, 20 inches tall. And mixed media indicates that it's resin, which is like a wax. There's some ceramic. Of course, um, a little bit of metal is utilized. And so Starbucks did all these collectibles in the early 2000s. Wow. They still do the collectible mugs. But this is a rather unique one. Not all that easy to find in good condition. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't have it for last week, but it just came in. I think this is so well, well, I didn't even know about this. Well, it, yeah, and it, because it's so relatively recent, I mean, does that... Well, it was over 20 it's, years it's, ago. Well, but see, to me, that seems recent. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it does, but we forget that, you know, we're 20 years, 22 years from when this piece was made. Mm -hmm. So a whole adult person in college from when this piece was That's made. That's right. Oh, right. my it gosh. Is. Oh, but, Dr. You know, Lori, you're making me feel, oh. Yeah. All, right, all right, so. I know. Is this, is this a replica of an original store or something, or it's like an imaginary store? No, no, it's just an imaginary okay. piece. Uh, came out of a creative of an artist's creation commissioned for Starbucks. Starbucks okay. wanted to do collectibles. The collectible market is very big. Um, I, I don't know. I've never seen anything like this. I'm not really sure if I'm on the nose with this or not. Are you? I feel as though. Well, like I feel, if, I, if, I, if I write more slowly, maybe I'll get a better answer. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, what'd you say? I said two twenty-five. Oh my gosh, I said sixty-five bucks. You are three hundred dollars. No kidding. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I know. All right. Well, I know. Starbucks is hot. Oh my gosh. Oh my All God, right, you're blown like away so by pretty. That. All right. <laughs> A picture sent in by Melissa is what we're looking at next. Tell us about this. The cicada bugs in the south of France are very, very well known, and so is Borillus, which is the name of this type of ceramic which is that yellow ground with a tin glaze. Um, and uh, this particular piece is from the south of France. It's Majolica and Fayence ceramic, which is a type of ceramic that features this yellow ground and a tin glaze. Um, it's hand painted. It's about eight inches tall, and it dates to the 1960s. Hmm. It's very pretty. Hmm. Yeah, and it's hand very painted. Pretty. Okay. And if you're ever in parts of, you know, the south of France, Saint-Tropez or such, the cicada bugs do have that characteristic noise. You hear them all the time. Oh, yeah. Now, something like this, it, is it, it's one of a kind? Is it by an artist? Yeah. Just, just, a, just a single artist that's known or by a company? Bor Borillus is a type. So okay. um, a group of artists will make these particular pieces. And again, they come from that region of the world. Uh, so not one particular artist. It's not like, oh, Picasso made this particular right. piece. Okay. Yep. Mm. Good question. Are you writing slow? Why is your marker so squeaky I don't know. today? My, my marker is really squeaky, and I just don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm undervaluing these, are these hard. things. These are not easy. Okay. okay. I said 175. I said 175. Get out. Wow. You're both wrong. <laughs> Naturally. All right. <laughs> Naturally. It's worth $125. Oh, okay. okay. So we went we a little high. We weren't that far All off. Right. No, no. I consider that respectable. Okay. Last up, we have yes. punch bowls sent in by Sherry. How about this? So um, uh, Gertz is the name of the manufacturer. Made in Germany. Earthenware ceramic. Um, soup terrine. I know it looks like a punch bowl. Punch bowls usually don't have lids, but oh. only 
people like me know that. <laughs> uh, soup tureen and mugs with a lid from the 1950s as well. You're guessing for the whole set. It kind of reminds you of the imagery that you would see on a beer stein. Yes. But this is for like a hearty soup at Oktoberfest. Hmm. All right. Mm, how, not that easy. Like, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Like, how, how many of these kinds of things exist? Like, how uh, rare is it to come gosh, across this? Thousands of these probably existed in the 1950s in Germany. Notice those circles. Those are called cartouches. And there's an image inside of each one with a landmark of a particular German city. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I just I think it's uh, peculiar to have all your friends over and, hey, I got a big pot of soup. <laughs> Yeah. You can dip your mug in. Well, no, I like it as a punch bowl, even if it has a lid. Right. You know what? <laughs> it it's like, surprise, here's the punch. Surprise, All right. surprise. I'm ready. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> okay. Okay, I said $300. I don't know. I, I feel like it's $200. $200. Well, Heather is closer, but she went over. It's two ninety-five. dollars Oh, no, but she wins. You are the winner this week. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. All right, Thanks, you know what? Dr. We Lori. always have a blast with you, Dr. Lori. Thank you. <laughs> so good to see her. Thanks to you at home, too, for sending us your photos. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Email us at ptl at kdga.com. Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. Did, Are you okay? Did you know I want to say something before they take the video? I was, no, did you see her face when she, like I said, she was just like, mm. <laughs> like the noise she made? Ah, all right. Oh, you're a hoot.